Welcome back, everyone. Ready to dive into another fascinating corner of the engineering world. Always ready. Awesome. Today, we're heading to the shipyards, those places where, well, they literally build those mega ships. Yeah, those massive container ships that are like, what, the size of small cities? Exactly. And we're focusing on a specific part of these mega ships, the bulbous bow. Have you ever seen one of these things? Oh, yeah. They're pretty wild, right? It looks like someone stuck a giant like nose on the front of the ship. Yeah, it does, it's huge. And we've got this amazing shipyard video that actually shows the whole process of replacing one of these bulbous bows. Whoa, seriously, replacing the whole thing. The whole thing, it's incredible. Wow, that must be a massive undertaking. Absolutely massive. I mean, just imagine the sheer scale of it. We're talking about a piece of steel that weighs like hundreds of tons. Hundreds of tons, that's insane. And they just like squap it out. Pretty much. Of course, it's way more complicated than it sounds. But that's what we're diving into today. We're going to break down the whole process step by step and talk about why it's so important. Sounds good to me. Let's dive in. All right. So first things first, let's set the scene. Picture this. A giant dry dock, big enough to fit, well, a mega ship. And there's this massive bulbous bow just sitting there waiting to be attached to the ship's hull. So hold on, they build the bulbous bow separately then? Yeah, they do. They construct it offsite and then transport it to the shipyard where they weld it onto the hull. That makes sense, I guess. Mm. It'd be pretty tough to build something that big directly onto the ship. Definitely. But before we even get to the welding part, they have to dry dock the ship. Right, dry docking. That's where they basically lift the entire ship out of the water, right? Yep. They move the ship into a huge basin and then pump out all the water until the hull is completely exposed. Wow, talk about a logistical challenge. Seriously. And then comes the tricky part. Detaching the old bulbous bow, they use these massive cutting torches to slice through the steel. There must be some heavy duty torches to cut through that much metal. Absolutely. They're specially designed for these kinds of jobs. And then once the old bow is detached, they use cranes to carefully lift it away. So it's basically like a giant jigsaw puzzle, but with pieces that weigh tons. Right, it's wild. And then they bring in the new bow, carefully aligning it with the hull using lasers and hydraulic jacks. Lasers, wow, that's high tech. Right, the precision required is insane. They have to get everything perfectly aligned, otherwise the bow won't be watertight. Yeah, that's crucial. Can't have leaks in a mega ship. So after they get the new bow lined up, they weld it into place, right? Exactly. And this is no ordinary welding job. We're talking about welding massive steel plates together, ensuring the new bow is structurally sound and completely watertight. Wow, that's some serious welding. It is, but that's what makes this whole process so fascinating. The level of skill and precision involved is just mind-blowing. I mean, think about it. This is like changing the tire on your car, but the car is the size of a small city and the tire is made of steel and weighs tons. That's a great analogy. It really puts things into perspective. So all this effort, all this engineering, all this precision, it all begs the question, why? Why go through all this trouble just to replace a bow? Right. It seems like a lot of work, but it's actually crucial for the ship's performance. Really? How so? Well, the bulbous bow isn't just there for looks. It plays a huge role in reducing drag, which in turn makes the ship more fuel efficient. Oh, I see. Like it cuts through the water more smoothly. Exactly. It changes how water flows around the hull, creating a smoother path for the ship to move through the water. And this reduction in drag means that the ship can travel faster and farther using less fuel. That makes sense. And with fuel prices the way they are, that's got to be a huge saving. Oh yeah, it's a massive cost saver. And it's not just about saving money either. Reducing fuel consumption also means reducing emissions, which is good for the environment. So it's a win-win situation. Exactly. More efficient shipping means lower costs, and a smaller environmental footprint. It's a pretty big deal. And then there's the safety factor. Safety? How does the bulbous bow affect safety? Well, a damaged or worn out bow can actually impact the ship's stability and maneuverability, making it more difficult to control, especially in rough seas. Oh, wow, I never thought about that. Yeah, it's something most people don't realize. But that's why regular maintenance and replacement of the bulbous bow is so important. It's an investment in the ship's performance, lifespan, and the safety of everyone on board. That's amazing. I have to admit, before we started this deep dive, I never really gave much thought to bulbous bows. I just kind of saw them as, like, a weird design quirk. I get that. They won't exactly scream essential at first glance. But the science and engineering behind them are incredible. 
It's a testament to how much thought and ingenuity goes into these seemingly simple things. I mean, it's easy to take for granted all the stuff we buy and use every day, but this deep dive really highlights how much engineering goes into getting those products to us, like those clothes you're wearing, the phone in your pocket, the food in your fridge. Chances are, a lot of that stuff traveled on a container ship with a bulbous bow. It's mind-blowing when you think about it. These ships are the backbone of global trade, and the bulbous bow plays a small but crucial role in making it all work. It's a fascinating world, that's for sure. So what do you think? What's your biggest takeaway from all this? For me, it's the reminder that engineering is everywhere. Yeah. Even in the most unexpected places. Like a giant bulge on a ship. Who knew that was such a critical piece of technology? Right. It makes you wonder what other hidden engineering marvels are all around us, working behind the scenes to make our lives possible. It really does. And it just goes to show, sometimes the most unassuming things can be the most fascinating. Keep looking, keep exploring, and you never know what you'll find. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> and to our listeners, if you're as intrigued by this as we are, do yourself a favor and check out the video of this bulbous bow replacement. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, keep diving deep.